AirAsia X Malaysia will take a hiatus from fleet expansion this year and has postponed delivery of its first A330-900 NEO from 4Q2019 to 2Q2020. However, its Thailand-based affiliate is accelerating expansion by adding five aircraft, including two leased A330-900 NEOS which are slated to be delivered in 2Q2019. Highlights, AirAsia X Malaysia has postponed delivery of its first A330-900 NEO from October 2019 to 2Q2020, AirAsia X announced in JUL 2018 an increase in its A330-900 NEO order from 66 to 100 aircraft but now plans to acquire around 75 aircraft, AirAsia X plans to lease two A330-900 NEOS from 2Q2019, which are being sourced from Avalon and are not part of the group's order. The AirAsia X Group currently has a fleet of 36 A330-300 CEOs which makes it the world's largest wide-body low-cost airline group. It also has the largest wide-body order book among all LCC groups. AirAsia X is planning rapid expansion over the next several years, including new long-haul flights to Europe and the continental US. Its expansion could significantly impact full-service network airlines and the corporate market as AirAsia X offers an affordable life flat seat in business. Chart, the AirAsia X Group has 110 aircraft on order when including 34 unconfirmed order source, Kappa, Center for Aviation Fleet Database AirAsia X and Airbus announced at the JUL 2018. Farnborough Air show an order for 34 additional A330-900 NEOS, increasing the group's total commitment to 100 A330-900 NEOS and reaffirming AirAsia X's position as the largest airline customer for the A330 NEO. At the time the group stated the first aircraft would be delivered in October 2019. related Kappa report, Asia LCC Wide Body Fleet, AirAsia X will triple in size in 10 years 8 months later, AirAsia X has still not confirmed the 34 additional aircraft. Although Airbus initially announced the deal as an order rather than a memorandum of understanding, MO, it still only lists 66 A330-900 NEO orders for AirAsia X. AirAsia X Malaysia CEO Benjamin Ismail told Kappa TV late last month that we are in the midst of finalizing the final number, and the A330-900 NEO order will likely end up being around 75 aircraft. He added a potential narrow-body order for A321 NEO or A321 NEOLRs, which impacts the number of A330-900 NEOS required, is still under study. See related Kappa report, low-cost long-haul narrow-body aircraft, Asian Game Changer. See related the Blue Swan Daily report, could the A321neo and A321neolr enable AirAsia to resume Australia expansion? Meanwhile, AirAsia X Malaysia has pushed back delivery of its first A330-900neo from October 2019 to 2Q2020. Mr. Ismail explained that, we decided to hold off for a bit and, I think coming to second quarter next year is something more reasonable for us to start planning what we have ahead of us. As Kappa highlighted in a Jan 2019 report, AirAsia X has particularly been concerned about the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000, the only engine option available on the A330-900neo. Mr. Ismail said AirAsia X is now more comfortable with the engine following meetings with Rolls-Royce but we still have skepticism on Rolls-Royce, we want to see how the engine works, how everything does, Mr. Ismail added that Thai Ariasi X's TAAX decision to lease two A330-900 NEOS from 2Q2019 will also give AirAsia X Malaysia information that will help it prepare for deliveries from 2Q2020. The newly revised AirAsia X Group fleet plan for 2019 includes five additional aircraft for TAAX 2A330-900 NEOS and 3A330-300 COs for a total of 15 aircraft. TAAX added four aircraft in 2019 all second-hand A330-300s which were subsequently retrofitted to 365-seat all-economy configuration.
Its original 11A330-300s are in 377 C2 class configuration and all five aircraft being added in 2019 will also be in this 377 C2 class configuration, 365 economy and 12 business class. AirAsia X Malaysia also added two second-hand A330-300 CEOs in 2018 which have been retrofitted to 365 seat all economy configuration. It also has 22 A330-300 CEOs which were delivered new in its normal two-class 377 seat configuration. See related the Blue Swan Daily Report, AirAsia X product becomes inconsistent as second-hand A330-300 CEOs are added. The newly revised fleet plan for AirAsia X Malaysia does not include for now any additional aircraft for 2019. However, Mr. Ismail said the airline is considering taking back one A330-300 CEO from its Indonesian affiliate in 3Q2019. If this aircraft is added, AirAsia X Malaysia's fleet will reach 25 aircraft at the end of 2019 while Indonesia AirAsia X's fleet will decline to only one aircraft. Indonesia AirAsia X suspended scheduled services in early 2019 and is currently only operating charters. Here's more from Mr. Ismail in an extract from a longer Kappa TV interviewed filmed on the sidelines of the Kappa Global LCC Summit in Singapore in Feb 2019.